you know when you just have that, you know when you die dying to itch that one spot and you're like, no, I'm not going to itch it, I'm not going to itch it. Then when you do, yeah. <laughs> ah, I feel so nice. Anyway, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because you know, like always, I need to get ready for work and whatever. But I just had like, my best friend just opened up my eyes like wide and I was like, oh my God. This is something that I need to say because I told her off, right? Listen, when you do stuff repetitively, you can't do the same thing over and over, go into the same situation with the same mind frame, try and find something new in the same old ways and expect to get a different result. You're always going to get the same result. It might come in different packages. It might come in different ways. You might get different avenues. You might get different faces leading you, but it's still going to all equate and lead to the same road. And that road is called bollocks. Road of bollocks, road of bullshit, road of no return, the point of no return. The road you never wanted to go down and you're thinking, oh shit again, why me? Why is this happening again? Why him? Why this? Why this? Oh my God, what have I done? What do I do? Deserve this? Why can't I find someone? I don't believe in love. I don't believe that this is going to happen. I don't believe I'm going to get there. I don't believe I'm going to do this. Oh my God, I itch it so much. It bled. But then, listen, this is the thing, right? With, with that, you can become complacent in pleasing someone that doesn't deserve your praise. So you get comfortable in being with people. Like, so you're talking to someone, you like someone, and it's like you you automatically lose yourself and you just get comfortable. So you don't want to say certain things because you like them and you want it to go further, but you don't want to push them away. And so you don't say certain things and it holds certain things back. Or you act a certain way. You don't want to do too much. Anything you that is really on your mind, truly deep, you don't want to express because you don't want to put them in a weird sense. Like you don't want them to go put off you because you're so used to people coming in and out and, you know, th this being too much or you think and you, you just, people can allow you to really, um, overthink your actions when actually you're not doing enough meaning you're not saying enough i feel like with people when you're dealing with people and situations you always need to demand your wants from the get-go you always have to make it clear what you want or what it is and even if you start on a shaky ground or you just you ride with the wave at some point in the beginning you have to you have to say what you want and you have to be fearless in saying what you want you can't be scared in saying what you want you can't be scared in saying how you truly feel you can't be scared you have to be bold and it's very nerve-wracking and it's not something that is easy for a lot of people because a lot of people don't like digging deep and a lot of people don't want to push people away but this is where in certain times in in life you learn certain things and you have to learn to be selfish you have to think of yourself first and what a situation does for you how a person makes you feel what a person contribute in and you have to go into situations with that mind frame you especially when you're you have to remember, like, it's not an invitation of someone inviting you into their life. It's an invitation of someone inviting you into your, you're inviting someone else into your life. You're giving someone your time, your space. You're allowing yourself to be so vulnerable that you can fall for someone. So you're inviting some, you're inviting someone into that personal space of yours. So then why do you have to live by what their rules are and what their wants and needs are? You come to a point where you say what you want and if, if they don't agree or you're not on the same page, then you can have a talk and see if there's compromise that will be made there. But you always have to voice everything you want. Don't people, communication is key and it is fundamental in anything that you want to achieve in life. And I've definitely learned that, like, you really have to be honest. And sometimes being brutally honest, that there's always ways of saying things. It's not what you say, it's the way you say it and who you're saying it to. So you can say anything to anyone, but you have to get to know them in a, in, to know a sense of, what they're dealing with. That's why at the start of anything, it's always good to just be brutal because no one, people will always know what they st where they stand. What you like, what you like, what, what you like is what you like, what you want is what you want, what you're open to, what you're not open to, what you're willing to negotiate on, what you're not willing to negotiate on. Do you want this? Do you want that? Ask all the questions in the world. You're never going to get answers if you don't ask questions. I have people around me that like definitely scared of even asking like, someone else that they're seeing if how that person feels about them it's like 
I mean, if you're expressing yourself and you know that you have feelings, do you not think that it's fundamental to know if that person's at least on the right page? Like, if you're gonna like fall in together. I used to do that all the time. I used to be so scared. I always used to say that I want this, but I never used to keep track of it. I never used to talk about it. I used to just let it be and just assume that the fact that just because they message me back or that they want to see me now, that means that they like the same thing. You can never assume someone's feelings because when shit hits the fan, and it doesn't go the way that you're feeling and think it's going to go feel that it's going to go for you because you're relying on your feelings to carry you and relying that just because you're you just because you may feel a certain way about someone you know not everyone necessarily can pick up on your feelings even though you think that you're doing a bit more to make them realize Especially men, you have to tell men everything. Men don't get things like that. They're not like that. They don't just get it. You have to say it. You have to really say what you want and what you want and go about what you want the right way because there's a lot of people out here that are time wasters and they don't really care whose time they're wasting and what they've got to do. They see you as a pretty thing. They see you as something they want to conquer. They see you as a tick on the list. They see you as another person they want to get inside and want a taste of. And they will do anything. There's a lot of people that will do anything just to be able to say they had you. And you need to be careful of that. And ways to be careful of that is just always... Don't take anything for granted and watch everything cautiously. Um, that's the only way. I feel like you just, you can't take accountability for a lot of people's wrongdoings in the way that they, they take your feelings for granted. But you can only blame yourself if you're not making it aware of how how you feel like you, you deserve to be treated in the first place. You set boundaries, you set rules. If someone's coming to your house and disrespecting your space, you can't, you definitely, if someone, if someone's living with you, yeah, there's certain things that you don't like and certain things that you, that people have to abide by. It's normal like, oh babe, yeah, this is the bathroom, don't use that. If you're showing someone around and they're staying for a couple of days, like baby, yeah, this is, if you need this, just tell me, blah, blah. Like, that is how you have to act with people coming into your life. There's certain things that you know that you want and there's certain things that you're not going to appreciate. You have to, in order to put that out there, you have to then teach people kind of like how to teach you and like you have to teach people how to treat you in a, in a way that's because some people don't just get it some people have to learn and you have to be willing to be a teacher and there's only so much time you can forgive certain behavior disrespect is disrespect if you feel disrespected once you accept it as your own business twice you accept it as your own business third time you're a fucking idiot so like, there's only so much things you need to do, but I always feel like it's always good to build a solid foundation on good communication. I think that's, like, number one thing that we definitely take for granted. So, um, communication is key, and don't ever be scared to demand your wants and needs and to... Within reason, like, oh, uh, we need to do with money and all that stuff. I feel like people just... Please, what you require someone emotionally for you to be able to be open in building and taking that walk together. Like, are we gonna be walking like this or are we gonna be like this? You need to let me know. And every time you see each other, talk about it. Talk, so how do you feel like this is going? Like, you know, I learned that. I had to learn that through a whole other shit to no, now I've tried to do it in the past, but I've tried and I've tiptoed around issues because I don't want to talk about certain things. I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Like, it's not about you feeling uncomfortable. This is how I feel. And this is what I feel like we need to do right now. And if you're not prepared to talk about how we're maneuvering our feelings and stuff, then we're not on the right page. And then we really need to depart because I'm not going to be the person falling for you more than you, than you, than you, they're falling for you more than you fall for me. And a lot of people take that as weakness. And that's when people start to manipulate you because they feel like they've got you right where you, where they want you and they can easily use you inside out. That's why it's easy. You have to track progress. You have to know that someone is on the same page and you're only ever going to know that if you speak up. Speak your wants. Speak everything. Demand what you need from someone. Demand it. 
This is what I need from you. This is what I need to see from you to be able to take the next step. And this is what I need from you. And this is what I need from you for me to feel like this. And this is what I need you to do. And this is what we need to do for us to build this. Get it? So, yeah. Where's the money wants and needs? Now I'm going because you know what I have to do right now. It's amazing. I feel like I've just made a whole video and I don't even need to edit it. I'm going to upload it now. And I shall see you guys very, 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 very soon. New subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing.